um, Ashika. And you're from? Wakefield. How old are you? I'm 15. I'm called Aditi. Um, I live in Wakefield and I'm 12 years old. I'm Toral. I live in Yorkshire, well, Click Eaton, and I'm 15. How long have you been dancing? I've been dancing for around seven years. Yeah, about six to seven years, quite a while. Mm -hmm. Five to six years. <laughs> Do you study with the same teacher? Or you? Yeah. yeah. Have you studied with anybody else? No, we all started with, with, with Udama and um, Kitaji um, taught us. Did you come to Kalesan or Udama? There's one in Wakefield, um, it's called, called Udama, Wakefield Indian Dance and Music Association, and Gitaji came from Bradford to uh, Wakefield to teach us. And for the preparations for Ashalanga Puja, we came to Bradford sometimes as well. And when did you do the 30th of October. 30th of, yeah. You did it together? Yeah. We all did it together, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, you all three shared it? Yeah. yeah. So how was that for you? It was nice to have someone to yeah. be in the same yeah. position as because like we had school and we were practicing for the puja as well, so it's quite yeah. It was nice to have somebody that was going through the same thing, so it was it was good to have company and we we all enjoyed doing it together, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And um, it was an enjoyable experience, yeah. And like the practices as well, if we couldn't remember something, there's always someone else. Could yeah, do. we could rely on each other. <laughs> So did you practice together all the time? Um, yeah. Well, we practice at home separately, and then we met up like once or twice a week to practice, and then obviously in lessons, we did um, practice together. So how long did you take to prepare? <laughs> well, <laughs> we started about in June, I think. Yeah, um, last year. Yeah, so we had it like around every week, like till about October, and then th during we had a two-week half term off mm -hmm. school so we practiced every day every day in that yeah. holiday every two day, weeks yeah. every day we came to Bradford and, and then at the place where we did the performance we were we had a couple of dress rehearsals yeah. there in the on the stage and that was good where was that it was in Fe Featherston Technology College um Pontifact. it was in what Pon it was in what Pontifact yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yes yeah. yeah they were all from London so flute player and a singer and um, a redungamist, the type of Indian drum. So what did, made you decide to do it all together? We've both been doing it for the same amount of time and we've known each other for ages. Yeah, so we decided um, that to get it, otherwise it would take a long time for each of us to do it separately. We just wanted to, also it would be nice to do it with other people, so we decided we'd just do it all together. Um, we like, um, we, we just know each other really well and it was just nice to, because we've already done like loads of performances together, it's just like putting it together again, so decided to do it all together. So how did you prepare the costumes? Well, um, when we went to India, um, I got one of my costumes made there in Bangalore and when I came back, Ashka also went to India. Yeah, I went... I got mine in Madras and I got them twos as well. We got we had like two costumes, one's in the first half of the show and one's for the second half and we've used one of the costumes a lot before as well. Yeah. yeah. So we had to we were all matching, mm -hmm. so we got the same costumes and for each part of the show. And where do your families come from? My yeah. <laughs> Gujarat in India, so I'm not South Indian but <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Um, my parents are originally from South India and I, I was born in England, so I, yeah. Which part of South India? Um, well, originally they're from South India, but my mum um, was born and brought up in Bombay and my dad in Pune, so, yeah, we all speak Tamil. Yeah. Um, my mum was brought up in Madurai and my dad's in Madras, so I, I usually go there and I was born in Madurai as well. So were you brought up in this country? Yeah, I was brought up here. How did you feel during your performance? 
Well, it was quite... We've never done something like that before. We've done all performances in different places, but nothing quite as serious. big as this mm -hmm. and serious. So it was, it was enjoyable, but also we were quite nervous yeah, because it was a big crowd. Intense as well. Yeah. It's with people like you know as well, like your family and friends. So that's kind of like another thing. That's why I'm a bit nervous. Yeah. How big was that? Over 250 people. Yeah. Quite big. You know, like people from all over the country. Mm. And people who couldn't come, we've just given them the DVD. So. Mm. And did you feel nervous? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was. Before that, um, we had to get all our costumes and makeup done and we, we, we thought um, that we weren't going to have enough time but mm -hmm. we did in the end and then it was all good. It's like before you go on the stage it's yeah. more nerve-wracking but while you're actually mm -hmm. performing it's it's okay really. Unless Just something goes wrong. <laughs> yeah. Well. My necklace fell off. My necklace fell off. And then I covered. there was a few odd steps where we did different things but Nobody noticed, yeah, no one hopefully. Noticed. As long as you carry on, it's all right. Yeah, and he's got a smile and carry on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So did everybody enjoy it? I think yeah. so. We think so, yeah. Everyone <laughs> gave a lot, a lot of positive feedback and everyone sent us congratulations cards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we all felt like a celebrity at the mm -hmm. end. Yeah. <laughs> everybody was coming up to us, giving us presents and cards and taking, taking photographs. photographs. <laughs> yeah. So are you thinking of doing your parameters? Um, I'd like to because I'd like to pursue my career in dancing, but um, it might not be for a while. But mm -hmm. I'd like to, yeah. Are you going to pursue a career? Um, I wouldn't mind to, but if I've got the time and like stuff, I, I would, I think. I'd like, I would like to, but I'm not going to because I've already decided what I want to do in the future. Well, share that with us. Um, I want to be a veterinary surgeon. But you always have your heart. Yeah, I might do some part time stuff like dancing at weddings. And... Your own? Yeah. No. Not your own wedding. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you see the future holding for you? <laughs> to carry on dancing and probably like do uh, bigger things, and that's more, more complicated things, and like improving stuff. We're doing the arts award, I was. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to carry on dancing, but I don't want my whole life to be there because I like other things too. So I'd probably still carry on dancing side by side with whatever I choose to do otherwise. So. Do you think um, your experience has helped you feel more Indian? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> because yeah. it's kind of brought forward what we, uh, our culture is like. So. I mean, people, other children who are born and brought up in England might not know different styles of South in uh, Bharatanatyam and all the different Indian types of dancing. But we've we had to learn all the different types of dances from all the all parts of India. So it has helped us. We've learned more about the religion, me and Ashika, yeah. <laughs> because well, we, we didn't, didn't really know much about Hinduism and before. But in all the songs and uh, bhajans, there's meanings to the songs, and we have to learn them so we can perform it correctly, it looked like a story that's being told. Um, so we have to learn, all, uh, that, that was also a lot of stories about the gods, so we learned a lot from that as well. Anything to add? Um, well, I learned lots, lots of stuff about the dance as well. And um, I think after my Shalanga Puja, I had to do an English GCSE speech to, the, to my English group. And I talked about Bhadanatyam, and I used that because I've I knew a lot about it and it was it was a chance for them to know about it as well and they were all quite interested in it as well. <laughs>